I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on application of integration. We'll have uh, many questions based on displacement velocity and acceleration in this set of videos. We'll begin with the object type questions and deduce in between thinking and application questions, followed by some test papers. Here we'll share with you two questions, multiple choice. Question number one. The instantaneous velocity of an object is v of t equals to 8 t minus 5 centimeters per second, where t is greater than or equal to 0. What is the displacement in the first 5 seconds? Four options are given to you. Second question is, the instantaneous velocity of an object is t minus 3 whole cube centimeters per second, where t is greater than 0. Find the displacement s at t equals to 0 if at t equals to 2, s equals to 4. Four options are again given to you. You can pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my solution. So to begin with, we are interested in finding displacement, right? So displacement, s of t, is integral of the velocity, right? Is the integral of velocity. We are given the velocity function, so let's integrate it. It is 8t minus 5 dt and the integral of this will be 8 t square over 2 minus 5 t plus a constant c. Now we need to find the displacement in the first 5 seconds. Now when we say five, first 5 seconds and we are saying t is greater than equal to 0 that means we want this displacement from 0 to 5, correct? So one thing is important to understand here that this graph is of displacement, a parabola, right? Do you see that part is a parabola? So let me write this uh, function s of t as equal to 4t square minus 5t plus c. So that is our expression. Now we're talking about displacement. That means from 0 to 5. Now it should have been the distance anyway. So, so what we'll do here is that we'll find what is s of 5. And from that we'll take away s of 0. Right? That is what we're going to do. So we'll substitute the value 5 here. So we get 4 times 5 square minus 5 times 5 minus c and from this value we'll take away when t is 0. So when t is 0 we're left with minus c right. So uh, well it's good to write plus c okay. So we are left with c. As you can see here c and c will cancel right. So what remains is uh, 4 times 5 is, uh, 5 squared is 25 times 4 is 100, right? Minus 5 times 5 is 25, right? And that C minus C is 0. So we're left with a value which is 75. So the answer is 75 centimeters, correct? So that is how we are going to find the solution of this one. Now the second so displacement is change in position, right? So that is why this is correct answer. Question number two. The instantaneous velocity of an object is t minus one whole cube centimeters per second, where t is greater than or equal to zero. Find the displacement s at t equals to zero. If at t equals to two, s is given to us as four. So here we are given the initial condition. We can find the constant. In the previous case, you can realize that there was no need to find constant. We were trying to find difference and so it cancelled, right? Okay. Now, so again, displacement is integral of the velocity, right? So, which is integral of the function, which is t minus 1 whole cube dt. And applying the power rule, we get t minus 1 to the power of 4 times 1 fourth, right, plus a constant c. 
Now we are given the initial condition, condition that at t equals to 2, s equals to 4, right? So, so we know that s of 2 is actually equal to 4, right? So we'll substitute 2 here. So we have 1 fourth of uh, 2 here, 2 minus 1 to the power of 4 plus c. So we can find the value of c from here. So this is 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 to the power of 4 is 4, right? So multiplying this, what do we get? So, uh, okay, so we get 1 over 4 here. So I'll actually take it to this side. So 1 over 4 take away from 4 should be the value of c, right? This is 1, correct? So that gives you 4... Uh, uh, 3.75 you can say since the answers are in numbers 4 minus quarter will be 3.75 let me write like this so c is 3.75 now we want to find the value at t equals to 0 okay so uh, let me use the right side of the page to find the answer right so we'll find it here so, so C is for us 3.75, so we can say S of T is now equal to uh, this expression 1 over 4 T minus 1 to the power of 4 plus 3.75, right? Okay. So, if I substitute 0 here, I get 1 fourth to the power of 0 minus 1 to the power of 4 plus 3.75. So that is 1 fourth, this is 1, right, which is 0 0.25, which is equal to 4, right? So quarter plus 3 quarters, uh, 3.75 gives us 4. So the option D is the correct option, do you see? So by integrating the velocity function, we can find the displacement and we can solve these questions. So I hope this concept is absolutely clear. Now let's take question number 3 and 4.